What if happiness isn't just a fleeting emotion, but a science that we can understand and harness? Now that's a question worth exploring, isn't it? We all strive for happiness, it's a universal human pursuit. From the bustling streets of New York City to the serene landscapes of Bhutan, the desire for happiness is a common thread that binds us all, regardless of our age, culture, or social status. We chase after it in different ways. For some, it's the pursuit of success. For others, it's about relationships, and for many, it's the search for inner peace. However elusive or tangible, happiness remains our ultimate goal, our personal quest. But what if we could decipher the code to happiness? What if we could understand its nuances? It's time we looked at happiness not just as a state of mind, but as a science that can be studied, understood, and perhaps even mastered. So, if we're all chasing happiness, wouldn't it be great if we could understand it better? Believe it or not, happiness isn't as elusive as it seems. Science has a lot to say about it. Diving into the world of neuroscience, we find that happiness isn't merely an abstract concept, but is intricately tied to the activity in our brains. Various studies have shown that certain brain chemicals play a crucial role in our feelings of joy and contentment. Two of the most notable ones are dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine, often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter, is linked to the reward system in our brains. When we do something pleasurable, like eating our favorite food or getting a compliment, our brains release dopamine, making us feel happy and satisfied. On the other hand, Serotonin, another neurotransmitter, regulates our mood, appetite, and sleep. It's often called the happiness hormone because when serotonin levels are high, we tend to feel more positive and content. When they're low, we might feel depressed or anxious. Now, the fascinating part is that we can influence the levels of these chemicals in our brains through our daily activities and lifestyle choices. For instance, Regular physical exercise has been found to boost both dopamine and serotonin levels. Likewise, a healthy diet rich in certain nutrients can also contribute to higher serotonin levels. Meditation and mindfulness, which involve focusing on the present moment and accepting it without judgment, have shown to increase happiness by reducing stress and anxiety. They work by stimulating the release of dopamine and other feel-good chemicals in the brain. On a broader level, Cultivating strong social connections and engaging in meaningful activities can also enhance our feelings of happiness. Studies have found that people who have strong social networks and a sense of purpose in life generally report higher levels of happiness. It's important to note that everyone's brain chemistry is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. But the key takeaway is that our actions and lifestyle choices can have a significant impact on our brain chemistry and in turn our feelings of happiness. So it appears that our actions and choices have a significant impact on our happiness levels. Now that we've discussed the science behind happiness, let's delve into the formula for happiness. It's fascinating to realize that happiness isn't as elusive as it often seems. Various researchers have proposed a formula for happiness, breaking it down into three main components, your set point, your circumstances, and your voluntary activities. The set point is like your happiness thermostat, determined by your genes and personality. It's believed to account for about 50% of your happiness. Even when life throws you a curveball, you'll eventually return to your set point, much like a room's temperature returns to the thermostat setting after a window is closed. Next up are circumstances, the external factors in our lives. These include things like income, marital status, where we live, and our health. Surprisingly, circumstances only account for about 10% of our happiness. It seems our external world doesn't influence our joy as much as we often think. And finally, we come to the most empowering part of the happiness formula, voluntary activities. These are the things we choose to do, our actions and our behaviors. Voluntary activities account for a whopping 40% of our happiness. This includes things like nurturing relationships, practicing gratitude, exercising, and pursuing goals. What's truly remarkable about this formula is that it shows how much of our happiness is within our control. While we can't change our set point and our circumstances are often out of our control, our voluntary activities are entirely up to us. That's a substantial chunk of our happiness we can directly influence. Think about it. We have the power to shape 40% of our happiness. That's almost half of our joy right there in our hands 
ready to be molded and enhanced through our choices and actions. So remember this happiness formula, your set point, your circumstances, and your voluntary activities. And most importantly, recognize the power you have over your own joy through the choices you make every day. Isn't it empowering to know that a large portion of our happiness is in our own hands? So, how can we use this formula to increase our happiness? Well, it's time to talk about some practical steps to give your joy a significant boost. Firstly, engage in positive activities. Do things that make your heart sing. It could be painting, cooking, gardening, or even just a walk in the park. These activities not only lift your spirits, but also help you gain a fresh perspective on life. Next, practice mindfulness. Be present in the moment. Acknowledge your feelings, but don't let them overpower you. Mindfulness can transform your experience and let you find joy in the simplest things. Gratitude is another powerful tool. When you appreciate what you have, you focus less on what you don't. Make it a habit to count your blessings every day. Lastly, nurture healthy relationships. Connect with people who uplift you, understand you, and make you feel good about yourself. Remember, happiness is a journey, not a destination. And with these tips, you're well equipped for the journey. Before we wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've learned about the science of happiness. We embarked on a quest to understand the essence of joy, diving into the fascinating realm of neuroscience and psychology. We discovered that happiness isn't as elusive as it may seem. It's a concrete concept, deeply rooted in our brain's intricate chemistry and our mind's vast landscape. We then explored the happiness formula, a simple but profound equation that sheds light on the components of our joy. Our happiness is an amalgam of our inherent disposition, our life circumstances, and most importantly, our intentional activities. Finally, we learned that boosting our happiness isn't merely about chasing fleeting moments of joy. It's about cultivating a mindset of positivity, nurturing fulfilling relationships, and pursuing meaningful goals. Remember, you hold the power to your happiness. So go out there and embrace the science of happiness. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content.